Hey guys, it's me, Glitch Games, and welcome back to another YouTube video. In today's YouTube video, we're going to be covering the Simple Score plugin. Now, the Simple Score plugin is an animated scoreboard plugin that um, has animations. You can set the speed of the animations. Um, you can change the world, so it's per world as well, which some scoreboards, you're stuck with them in your whole server. So, this is per world. You can set world groups, and it's all pretty cool. Now, guys, this... Uh plugin video was actually requested by someone in my comment section that asked what uh, scoreboard that I use and their name was Milton Isna Kalista Koroba definitely didn't say that right and um, it was also backed up by Cyber Ent, who also said they would like to see a video on that so we've had two different people say that they would like to see a video on this plugin so I guess it's time to do the video on this plugin let's get straight into it today's video is sponsored by Sengoda Sengoda is a new and unique marketplace where you can easily find hundreds of high quality, free and paid custom plugins to improve your overall Minecraft server experience. With the help of community and developer feedback, Sengoda is constantly working to improve the overall user experience. Sengoda features both their own plugins and plugins from developers you already know and love. Don't want to take my word for it? Well, why not listen to all the happy, satisfied customers? Link to the Sagoda Marketplace will be in the description, so why not give it a try? Okay, guys, so I've just saved my old config, and I've reset the config file. So this will give you the config file that you are started off with. So you'll start off with this nice little config file here. Uh, so let's go from the top. Default time and ticks for the score to stay on the scoreboard. Uh, 20 ticks is one second. So the update time is every second at 20 ticks. Uh, save which players have been have the scoreboard disabled. So if actually someone does score slash score disable, or they can disable the scoreboard, and this is only for per person. So if they don't like the scoreboard, they can disable. It. Um, so you can actually change that. So yeah, coming over to the scoreboard stuff, you'll see how we do this here. So we've got worlds, world, titles. So the title is the thing that comes up on the top. So if we go into our... So let's actually chain... Let's go to slash... Okay, I've warped to the default world, which isn't actually the world that I'm using right now for my server and stuff. This is just like the old stuff. But as you can see, this is what it's going to be. So if we come over and we have a look at the comparison, we'll have a look at what all of this is. So we can actually see that you've got your server, which is the title, which is that thing up the top, your server. Then we've got this thing, which is actually animated so uh, we've got scores then line 13 which is up here so you can see line 13 line 13 so what you do is you go line 13 and then here's how you do the animation you put a dash and then you do your first one and then you do your second one and as you can see that's animating from the first one to the second one plus minus on the side there i'll zoom in on that in editing and then you've got obviously your other stuff that you can change we'll go through and we'll start changing stuff we can change this title we can change this to and seven uh so that's and c and we can do youtube and then what's why so if you're having tr troubles with color codes you can actually go color codes minecraft and you can actually go and click on the first link and you'll get all the different formatting codes for Minecraft. So that's if you're having troubles. So I want a white, so I'm going to go F. Now, you don't use this funny symbol. You use an AND, so that would be AND F. So here we go, AND F. So we go YouTube video is what I'm going to call that. We're going to change this so that uh, we're going to add some more animations in here. So I'm just going to copy this here. And I'm going to do like a animation where it goes outwards. So we're going to keep the colors the same, but we can actually change the colors in animations as well, which I'll change one of them. But um, I'll just do a ton of these and we'll show you how it looks like. And what I wanted to do is on each one, I wanted to count down one. So we'll take out two minuses and we can actually we'll take out a minus and we'll replace it with air. Take out a minus, replace it with air. And I think that should do it like that. So take out two minuses, replace it with two air. Take out two minuses, replace it with two air. And I'll speed this up as I do this because it's pretty repetitive. Okay, so finally, I have finished making this cool little animation for the top. I'm going to press save. And now we're going to use the plugins reload command, which is going to be slash simple score reload. And now we're going to see that slowly it comes counting down. And it's not really working properly, but I think I might know why that is. So we can actually um, just change all these to and L. 
Okay, and now if we hit save file, it should start. If we hit reload, there we go, it starts going in. And that's just to demonstrate the animation. Now that's a pretty whack animation. And you can obviously do that much better. Um, that's an example to show you. That's the animation that you'll be getting. So you've got also the YouTube video changed up in the top. Quickly, before we continue on this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about Devnix. Now, Devnix is a company that does incredibly cheap Minecraft builds, plugins, uh, Discord bots, websites, graphics, and they do all sorts of stuff to spice up your Minecraft server. And considering you're watching this video, I'm assuming that you're improving or setting up your new Minecraft server. So, this company is definitely perfect for you because they have incredibly low prices and you can even use code glitch for 5% off of your purchase. So, that makes it even cheaper. So, I definitely think it's a great solution if you're just starting out. Okay, so another thing we can actually do is if we come over to our Skyblock world and we do slash U regions, we're going to find out what world we're in now. So this is our Skyblock world. We're going to see that we're in Skyblock spawn world. Now what we can actually do in the config is put in shared leaderboards. So you'll have this shared section down the bottom. Now what you're going to do is I'm going to put it in a sky block, And that's going to be my thing. Then I'm going to tab one and then I'm going to put a dash. I'm going to put quotation marks and I'm going to put in skyblock spawn and now what i can actually do is put another one in and i can put in more quotation marks and now i'm going to figure out what my uh skyblock worlds are so i've got iridium skyblock we have here um somewhere around here R iridium skyblock and iridium skyblock underscore nether so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in iridium skyblock i hope i'm spelling this right and then we're also gonna put in iridium skyblock nether Okay, and then we're also going to have to change this one here to Skyblock. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So now when we hit save file and we reload the plugin, it should hopefully work. So if we do slash simple score reload. And there you go. There's There it is. So you see we've got a 100 ticks title and a 50 ticks title. So you see that the 100 ticks title. So if you go back, you'll notice that it said up here that 20 ticks is one second, meaning that the 100 ticks title lasts for five seconds and the tw the 50 ticks title lasts for two and a half seconds. So let's count that out. Okay, one, two, okay, and one, two, three, four, five. Yes, my counting skills are alpha. And so you can see that those two titles, they last for the appropriate amount of lengths. Now, what we can actually have a, uh, what we can have a look at now is we can do this inside of here as well. You can set a per score or title time instead of using the default value. So what you're going to do is you're going to put in text and this will last. So this one will last 10 seconds and this one will last 5 seconds. So you'll notice that the 100 tick one is 5 seconds and the 200 tick one is 2 seconds. And then you see that coming up on the side scoreboard. So that's what it gives you when you do that. We're going to start and, and then you've also got on the bottom your current world is and then world. So let's start... Um, working on a more custom scoreboard. I'm going to start by setting all of these values to what I have in my original config I have with the um, old config that I had. So this is the config backup that I've made. Paste that in and now you can see we have um, something else. So we have the titles, Skyblock, and then we've got all of this. So if we hit save file, now we reload it. It should have what I had at the start of the video. There you go. So now let's work on animating this scoreboard, which I've been meaning to do that for a while, actually. Um, I've been meaning to animate the scoreboard. So what I want to do is I actually want the sky block here to change um, colors or change thingy majiggy bobs. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to start by, remember on our old one, we had the text and then the time. So we have this here again and we go text dot dot space and then that's the text and then we go and we're going to make it enter and we're going to put in time so we put it enter boo uh no we don't need another one of those i don't think no we don't here we go and then we do time and i want this to change every five seconds so five seconds remember 20 ticks is one second five seconds is going to be 100 ticks and then i'm just going to copy this here and i'm going to paste it again because i want to change color so right now you'll see that we have it at white i want it to change color to aqua which is going to be the b so we're going to change this and m to and oh sorry we're going to change the and f to and b and that'll change the color of our thing uh, and that'll 
change in intervals of five seconds. So now if we save the file, hit reload, and if we wait five seconds, hopefully it should change. Hey, it changed! <laughs> now that's a bit too slow for me. I don't like that. I want it to be every two seconds. Currently just editing my actual server configs whilst doing a YouTube video. That's how that works. Okay, let's see if I like that better. Oh yeah, I like that better, I like that better. So I'm actually gonna copy and paste the same thing down to the bottom. Which, at down the bottom, we had the same thing. Boom. And now, both of them should change. Now, let's see if we can change something else. Now, I think it would be cool if I would change this skyblock thing to change the orientation of colors. So here it goes, aqua white. I want to change it to white aqua. And I'm going to change that at the same interval of time. So, I'm going to grab here, text. And then we go, and we go to... No, I would like time. And the time's going to be 30 as well. Actually, let's switch it up a bit. We're going to make it 35. No, nah, we're going to make it 30. <laughs> I want this to look kind of nice, you know. And then we'll just copy this text and change the color codes. Here we go. So here we want this one to be and F and this one to be and B. So this will switch the color codes around. And now if we reload the plugin once again... There you go. Um, now you can see both of the bars are animating and the sky block is animating. So that's pretty cool. Now with the placeholders, this is uh, this works with Pappy placeholders. Um, so you can also do that on there. Uh, so here you have, uh, so I use U-perms for my ranks. So I've got the U-perms rank placeholder here and that shows that I'm an owner. Um, so yeah, you can do all sorts of different stuff here. There's da 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 players online. Um, and you can also animate this to change out things. So you could say U Perms rank. Or you could say um, you could say play.bingomc.tk as your server IP. And I'm actually gonna do this here because I think that would be a good idea. So we've got play.bingomc.tk and then say we have a store, we can do go text. Then do the text thing. We do the time thing. We go, let's go 50 for time. Copy this down here. And then we just, say we have play.bingomc.tk as our server IP. We can do store. And that seems to be a little bit longer. So I'm going to take one space out there. And if we hit save file, then that should also be animating. So this is like setting up like a whole server's stuff here. And there you go. So now you've got play.bingomc.tk, store.bingomc.tk. And then that just cycles through like that. So I don't think there's really anything else you need to know. You've learned how to do... You've learned how to set up the scoreboard in different worlds. You've learned how to set up groups. Um, you've learned how to set up uh, color coding. You've learned how to set up animations. You've learned how to set up time intervals. So I think that's everything you really need to know from there. And everything else is going to be... Um, customizing it to your own liking so um feel free to go download this plugin from the spigot link down in the description um it's an amazing plugin and honestly a lot of the uh scoreboard plugins nowadays they're not, they're not really service anymore and this one is still having updates to this day now obviously scoreboard updates don't have to be frequent the last update was a few months ago but it's still it's good that there's um a developer that's still running a scoreboard updates. So I definitely do recommend this one. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Make sure you smash the like button and also subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a plugin video because we're doing plugin videos. If you would like to see a plugin uh, that I do a video on, make sure to leave a comment down in the description and you might get your uh, plugin request featured in a video just like the people today did. Um, anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. See you guys.